still talking about uh, women being uh, inclusion of more women in active politics. And uh, of course, uh, we can see from the numbers given the statistics. And in reality, is it the same thing? And how do we go about it? Because there needs to be a balance of gender roles in society in the political sphere. So back to Barista and Didi. Uh, what are the basic factors affecting non-participation of women? I know you mentioned uh, socioeconomic, but um, I believe it's more than finances because there's the saying of where there's a will, there's a way. People know how to push themselves when push comes to sure. shove. Yeah. So, uh, what are the basic factors? I, 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 some people, like myself, will refuse to believe it's more than just um, uh, monetary uh, challenges or constraints. Yes. Well, we cannot remove that. The finances is the core point. So like I said, even though the form is free. What we have in Nigeria is money politics. Yes. We use money to um, persuade, I don't say buy votes, persuade voters to vote for you. Because the voter is expecting that, okay, she has finished talking. What does she have for us? They expect you to share rice, expect you to share commodities. And then when you say, after you finish, say, vote for me, and then I say, God bless you, and you are taking your work, you will see them, you know, sneering and, you know, jeering at you that. So this is how she's going to do it. She's in power. She make sure that we don't get any, you know, goodies from the national cake. So you see, finances is still very, very, very important. Then we need the one of the factors again is the nurture, the nature part of it. Nature, you know, we need like I would say I always tell fellow feminists that it's beyond equality, gender equality. It is also has to include gender equity. Okay, a man, I can be an engineer, just like the man can be an engineer. But let the man also understand that even though he may want to climb a rig, and I might say to climb a rig, you know, like him, because we have the same qualification, we get the same pay. But he should also please understand when I'm pregnant, you know, that I may not be able to do you know, active service, active um, and strenuous um, Activity. activities like he can, mm. okay? He should also be able to understand that when I'm having my menses, I may be cranky, I may be, I may have painful periods. That is the equity. Yeah. She understand me. Then we have um, the, of course, the traditional expectation, the social, sociological mm. expectation where a woman is seen as a second fiddle, you know? I remember Buchi Emechata's um, book, Second, second Class, class Citizen, you mm -hmm. know? And th that is what it is, you know? Women, over the years, it's not something that's just uh, happening, you know? Women are always seen as to be seen and not to be heard. And although we, of course, we cannot compare our own generation with our mother generation or the our mother's the mother generation, yeah. we are more um, liberated than they are. But we have it's not yet uhuru. We have not yet gotten there. We still need to get more support, you know, for us to be seen and also heard. Madam, you mentioned equity twice in this your speech, and that what that means is balancing. Is that now what yeah. it's supposed to mean? Are you saying that we should have what we have in the workforce today, what they call quota system? Maybe if we have quota system in a political sphere, we may could have 50 percent, men would have 50 percent. And then you have said something that could also withdraw you back is nature. If that 50 percent is given to you and nature comes in, should we allow the place to be vac to have a vacuum, knowing that the vacuum is not part of the system? And that is why we said when we say we said we have to understand if nature has said, okay, there's going to be a vacuum here, it is now for you to say, okay, can we get somebody temporarily to occupy this position so that there won't be that vacuum, there won't be that lacuna. When she comes, because the truth of the matter is that we have seen, I'm sure... No, are you of the option of a quota system? But that's, what, men and that's women. what the affirmative action is about. Now, if that you say that, and you've, you've, no, if you say that, if you agree on that, and you're also saying that 
women today are not as plentiful in politics because men have dominated it over the years. Mm -hmm. Where would you get the women that will fill the 50% space that you're looking for? And that is why we are saying that it is not, it's a gradual process. Mm. It is not something that this 35%, we do not expect at the natural children and 23 to have a full 35% of It's a working. It's a working progress. Be working. It's we a working are going. Progress. We yeah. are going. You're working. We expect <laughs> that. The more, you know, I, by now I expect the, the radio, I expect jingles from National Orientation Agency. Most women don't even know that the nomination form is it's free. free. Mm -hmm. I mean, what, and that is a society that stifles women because once that awareness is there, most a lot of people will be, be surprised you know, that the local scorned. woman is interested. The woman, because if you, the truth of the matter is that. The, the, the women at the grassroots are more active in politics than the elites, now in quotes, the women, the elitist women. The women who are in politics, they don't even know the forms are free. I can tell you that they have been in politics for so long, you know, but if they have, you know, knowledge is power, they get to get this information that, oh, um, these forms are free, you don't need to pay a dime. I'm sure there will be more Women. So what That's what I'm asking. The men also need to be ahead of women in it. Now, the women that intend to come need more proactive sensitization. No man will want to do that for women because they know there's a challenge this time. If they get close to them, women will want to take over. And once a woman takes over a place, of course, no man can get to that place. That is known. Because, <laughs> that is not No, like, no, no, no. I think that women need more sensitization and educational uh, orientation on this. Like you said, forms are free but few women go for it. Is it that those who know about it are not telling those who should know to it's come out we, and support? We all have our parochial interest and selfish interest. You know, even as men, men um, may also have their interest. You know, even they may not want another man, you know, to have a particular thing, not because of, but because they have their own selfish interest in whatever it is, in whatever position it is. So, but I am, I want it to be a policy, a government policy, that this sensitization, you know, has to be in place when it's not going to be dependent on a woman who is there, you know, sensitizing other women. Let it be a government policy. Women, do you know that you can get this, get that, get that? What we know as women is that, okay, like in Lagos, we know that um, antenatal is free. How do we know that? Because the radios, the, or the radio, the, the jingles on the radio, the TV, TV adverts telling women, oh, do you know that you, antenatal is free in Lagos? You can get free antenatal, you know? And then by, by the time a lot of women, you know, get to know, even their husbands are getting to know, and they realize there's some men who really want to support their wives, you know? And maybe some, some men also need to be convinced that when they say this to the black, this, my wife is very active. I would like for her, I would like to support her. You know, it takes for the government to implement this policy, you know, make it a mandatory um, 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 affair for women to know the rights um, in policy. Because we were thinking money was the reason why it's women are not money. going into that. Yeah. Sometimes we think of money. this violence. I was also thinking violence against women when it comes to politics. Most women can face the kind of thuggery that is wrong in our political system. Now, when a woman intends to run and then you see talks coming from somewhere, she cannot pay those talks. I was thinking those are the things that can limit them. But as it is today, the internet is open so everyone is aware. You can use your phone and discuss with so many people. I'm running, into I'm running a position in politics. But our women are not doing that. If they expect that men will carry the power and give to them, it takes so many that, years. That, that, that is what we are saying. It the takes so many that years. That's why there's 35 percent. 35 percent affirmative action is that this power we are giving it to you. But it's been given to women. But it, and see, you're not you using it. You have to use it to write it on paper. <laughs> you have to implement it. How? So let, me say, let me say I give to you a car, yeah. for instance, and then the car is still parked in my garage. The key is still with me. Have I given you the car? 
You've not given me yeah, the car. Yeah, like when I give you the car, it's not give you a car. It's when I give you the key and yeah, take it to the garage. The, uh, I make it to drive uh, it out. What's it called? Oh, there are two women that I love now with right. the way they are participating or they are about to participate. Mm -hmm. One is a, uh, the wife of the governor of Ondo State. Okay. She is in Ondo State, but she's mm -hmm. taking a position in Imo State, her place. Mm -hmm. Another one is the wife of the, the recently, I mean, the past governor of Anambra State. She's also gunning. Are you saying those women are going in because they've understood policies from the standpoint of their husband? A bit. Yeah. Now, are women supporting them? That's another that, thing. That's the, that's the thing, you see. Knowing that this is a constant between those women and men. Those and I expect that if all the women come out to support these two women, they will win. But women are not like men. Men, we can support. We can say, okay, you go for you whatever still, reason. You, you still don't get the concept. The concept is this, women in Africa, we are subservient to men, submissive. If on the election day your husband, a husband tells the wife not to go out for election, would, will, will the woman in politics... Even when out? you are going in for a position? Yes. Your husband will tell you, I never told you from the start, don't yeah, go in for it. Don't ever so bring out what, the what, 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 Where in this country, when a woman... Um, um, was um, beaten up by thugs in full glare. A woman in politics yes. was beaten up by thugs in full glare of um, the police and other security agencies, and nothing was happened. And where was the husband? Oh, she was. Was he meant to be with her? It was an official duty. That well, that means it was not the husband's problem. No, we're not saying it that was a society. Like it was a society problem. We're saying yeah. that but the husband should have taken. That but I'm sure the case didn't end the way you are thinking. It ended. No, I don't think so. We haven't heard about this. <laughs> you don't need to hear all the cases case case anyway. Case. Okay, uh, one more before we go. So how can this uh, culture of bias and non-inclusion of women in active policy be reversed? How can this trend, this culture? Like I said, it has to do with education, reorientation, and sensitization. Okay. We have to unlearn as women. We have to know that we are as good as our men folk. We have to know that it is not just um, ending up in the kitchen, that from the kitchen, we can actually make our voices to be heard. Do you understand me? We, can't, we have to make sure that we have to understand that it is, um, it is not just um, you know, birthing children that makes, us, that makes us women. We have to have effective control of policies that affect us as women, that affect our children, because without us being in politics, how do how do the men understand what we feel? How do the men, you know, voice out what our pains and challenges are? It is until we get that that we can tell you that oh, this is our pains, these are our challenges, and this is the way we think it can be solved. Oh, wow, that's very correct. But well, I think more women need more access. The men as have given that access to them. It's for you to come out and support the women folk that are in politics. If you think men will just give it to you like that, it's not going to be so. Power is not just given freely. It's wrestled for. The only way our women will get into politics is to abuse your mind on domestic, at the domestic level and focus on politics. So they can also be president of this country. Sometimes men are also tired of seeing men not doing well. We expect to see some women perform what they can perform at home too. All right, so much for from a male perspective from Tilia, but um, we encourage all women out there from the grassroots, uh, mid-level, just go on, be active in politics. It's not even about vying for office. Have you gotten your PVC, have you registered for it? That is a step towards being active politically. And uh, we want to say thank you to Paris Dandidi. We're really grateful for having you on the show. And we know that uh, soon we'll, we'll have you again with us. Thank you so much. It's right. been nice having you. Thank you, sir. Okay, all right, now we'll go on a break and we'll be back with sports. Lucian Plus Group, known for its outstanding success in the